it's everything. Stories are your business, your business is your story. I mean, if you think about it, businesses are places where there are great stories taking place. And also it's a key way for everybody to connect to who you are as a business. So I would say they're symbiotic. You can't have a business without a story. I think when you become aware of the story and, and you search for the story of your business, you're able to share that with the world, put it out there and identify yourself so people can connect. So for me, it's, I'd say it's everything. Well, today, I think, it, it, more than ever, people respond to story. And if a leader is going to create an atmosphere or indeed show people what to do or motivate or create an idea, a story is much the best way to do it. Rather than, you know, this is the fact, this is the way you, you do it, this is the usual way. What are the stories around the job? What are the stories around the idea that people need to, to put forward? People often think they need to draw away. They can't share story. They can't share things about themselves. They go to the logic, the logos. You know, the side of the left side of our brain, that's where we go because it's about facts, figures, numbers, KPIs. In actual fact, it, story is what develops your KPIs. It's what develops your staff. It's what helps make people feel valued. So that's why. Right, there are so many <laughs> best practices in storytelling. Uh, the key one is make the story relevant. Don't waffle, don't go off the subject. Make the story relevant and make it certain so that people can understand why you're telling them that story. That's number one. I think keep them quite short. Don't let them ramble on and on. That's another important point. And the key element is put some detail in there. Give, paint the picture, put people in their imagination. That's what everybody loves. That's what engages us about stories. So make them creative and imaginative and with a real point and purpose. And if possible, a little moral at the end. So if we do this, as you can see, this will happen. I think many times people are a bit afraid of stories. They're a little bit afraid that the story is not serious or that they are not going to be dealing with the information which is, we are so used to. But I, so sometimes I think when the thought comes to tell a story, our hearts beat a little bit faster and we think, shall I, shan't I? My, my, what I would like to implore you to do is tell the story because that's the thing that people will remember. When you leave the room, you want people to remember what you've said, that you want people to remember who you are. And I can assure you, they'll, they'll look at your facts and figures, but the thing they will remember about you is the story you told, the image you created, the power of what you put out there that uh, people could have in their imaginations. That's what we love. I've spent my life in story, living in story, playing out story, playing characters, drawing characters as a child, making my parents laugh, making my friends laugh. And I got drawn in through literature in my sort of teenage years and then youth theatre and I went to art school and then I went to drama school so my whole life has been about 
bathing in story and having fun in some way. So I, I've been inspired instinctively and I, it's a place I enjoy. And, and I, you know, I think it's a real privilege to be able to bring this into the business world and share this work because I think there's a lovely relationship between what is seen to be this kind of wacky, creative, you know, world of theatre and drama, which I, I guess it kind of is. Essentially, it's the right brain stuff that then we come to the sort of world of logic and finance and everyone's very serious and business. But of course, the best leaders, the best businesses, the most dynamic, successful businesses out there are people who are absolutely in their right brain, who are awake to story, empathetic, relational, able to enjoy others and celebrate success and lead in a very inspirational way. So that's my, that's why I'm inspired. <laughs> now, for me, my father was a great storyteller. He actually made much of his career telling stories. He was on the television and he was a brilliant storyteller. So as a child, I would just sit and listen. And I thought that's all there was, were stories. I didn't know there were facts and anything else. I thought the world is full of stories, which of course it is. And I had to learn the hard way. You know, there are sums to do, there are details to work out. But it was my father that inspired me. And always since then, I've just thought stories are so naturally the greatest way to, to communicate. They are the most powerful way. Um, the uh, Hollywood writer called Aaron Sorkin recently said, a very powerful quote, he said, the greatest delivery system ever invented for an idea is a story. And I think he's right.